Good morning. Uh, morning of day six. Big day today. A uh, couple of things. We get our first resupply. And yeah, get to meet up with Ish. Hey. And Caitlin. Hey. Um, we've done really well with the food so far. Um, in fact, we've got a little bit left over, so all good. And we will hit our first 100 kilometers, one tenth of the way. So we just have to do all this nine more times. Awesome. You go through some sections where there's a lot of sort of brown leaves. It looks quite autumnal. Or like autumn. If that wasn't the right word. <laughs> there you go. Kaya campers. So we're just coming into a section where you can see the burnt part on one side and the unburnt on the other. We're descending into a gully and I think the smoke has descended in here as well. Down here, we can see fantastic rejuvenation and regrowth. Even in here, little bits of green speckled through that. Nearing the summit of Mount Cuthbert brings undiluted joy. On this granite boulder, it's the most fantastic sundew. Holding on. And then flowering at the top. I'll show you what it's holding on to. A big dinosaur egg. So we just came around the corner and we've seen the shadow of Mount Vincent looming in the distance. That's our next climb. Yeah, it looks like the dragons have been through here and burnt everything out. and you will be called Mulberry Special. We saw this on day one at Mundaring Weir and we haven't seen it since. So it is quite special. So we're coming up on our first resupply meeting point, car park at Sullivan Rock and uh, well, that's a, um, the highway we got across. Coming up here. I think we're just a little bit early actually, so I don't think our crew is here yet. But we've travelled past, up and down past this sign many times and looked at it. And we're finally here. <gasps> hey! 
Strawberry. Look at your food. Mm. Look at your food in the back. <laughs> mm. <gasps> teriyaki prawn. Teriyaki prawn. Teriyaki chicken. Oh man. Oh. Sea breeze salad. Oh. This is something with sweet chili. Oh, sweet chili chicken. Mayo. Mayo. Oh. <laughs> Apples. <laughs> Peaches in mango nectar. Oh. Chocolate that you guys got yourself. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, it's a snack! <laughs> oh, it's snacks! Slabs! <laughs> oh, Whitakers, it's the best chocolate. Peanut? <gasps> <gasps> That's the best one of the Whitakers, too. And it's Last dark! Mm. Cork bummy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wow, now we've got to eat all of that, I suppose. <laughs> awesome, thank you. Oh, also. Coffee! <laughs> <laughs> Here's our support crew and saviors. Up here on Sullivan Rock. Bought us the good food and the watering can shower. <laughs> and we're smelling so good. Um, my pack is smelling so good for the flies because it has delicious rolls inside it. This could plague me for the whole day. Hello, everybody. Right. What's really fabulous here is that this, this kind of terrain is the hiker's friend where the track is covered in a lovely carpet of she-oak needles and you can see the needles everywhere. We love them. Instead of stomping, we're padding. Padding along. Boop, boop. Yeah. We've only got a couple of kilometres left to go before camp today. What a cruisy day it's been. Even with two mountains. Well, Australian mountains. Or West Australian mountains. Morning on day seven. Uh, a little bit more overcast this morning. As we head off. Hit our third mountain in two days. Come on, let me swap hands. Get this hand's a bit steadier. Um, another great little night last night. Had one extra person, Julie. Um, and she's heading north. She's going from North Bannister up to Kalamunda. And um, so we'll get up the top of Mount Cook pretty early. We'll get that first thing. In fact, we're starting to starting to rise up already. The whole day yesterday was just brilliant. On the old railway trails, our resupply, once again. A really great dinner last night. They're all really good. Anyway, see you at the top of the mountain. So we've, uh, we've got to the top of Mount Cook, the highest point on the whole Bibbulmun Track. The granite beneath our feet is three billion years old. It's been witness to the very dawning of life, the creation and extinction of the dinosaurs, the movement of the continents. We are just a blip in time, so we'd better appreciate it.
I was just about to put the drone up, um, but there's a couple, we heard there was a couple wedgetail eagles up here and we've just seen them flying around and I'm not going to put the drone up. Um, I don't want to bother them and also I don't want them to attack my drone. <laughs> so, <laughs> take it and fly off somewhere with it. I think we've found the famous Mount Cook cave. <laughs> <laughs> it's elusive. <laughs> there's, a, there's a book to sign down here. Just having a quick check for any snacks. Any wiggly boys. It's looking pretty good. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Not just any book. That's a leather bound book. Found the elusive, not so elusive. <laughs> Mount Cook Cave. I think this one's, that one's full. Yeah. It's full. And this one's cork bound. Wow, whoever supplies, hey, pick ups and thanks to whoever supplies the books down here. They're pretty special. The Oakleys, who supplied this book in September 2018. So we've just come down off the southern side of Mount Cook and just the views and the weather uh, just absolutely brilliant. Just it was windy, there was you could see pockets of rain coming through in the distance. We both like the colder weather, <laughs> we think, instead of being stinking hot. Could have sat up there for hours. Could have sat up there all day actually. Good morning, uh, morning of day eight, leaving Narang camp, heading uh, down to Gringa, and it's our longest hike in the bush today. We're breaking our record, it's eight days. Previously seven days has been our longest hike uh, in the bush. We've done longer trails, easy 16 kilometer day, if I go the right way, easy 16 kilometer day today, nice and mild. A little bit of overcast cloud, and uh, it's going to be fairly flat. I'm just heading out now, and um, another couple. Of... Yeah, no, that'll do. Okay, see ya. Kaya kora, hello friends. Day eight, another beautiful day on Noongar Budja. Um, we're walking today to Gringa or Gringa. I don't know how the pronunciation goes on that one. Really liked the camp at Narang last night and uh, had some lovely bird life around there and a nice table. We are continuing our journey along. Oh, have a look at these little groovers. Oh, look at this. I mean, I don't know if that's a son or daughter of the original or just something that's seeded there, but 
The Australian bush is so resilient. Anyway, so we've been the last two nights in the Monadnogs. Monad, 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 hell. The Monadnogs. Monad, oh my god. Around the Monadnogs. Granite outcrop. And this area was beset by a huge and really devastating fire back in 2003. I read a very interesting article at the last camp that talked about the impact of the fire and how there'd been no burning nearby for a very long time. They have evidence that the fire up on Mount Cook reached up to a thousand centigrade. We've also seen the incredible regeneration that's happened since that fire. The dreaded honky nut. Sometimes we see like this multiple regenerations of the same tree. They are, there you go, the Australian bushes. Little no Doctor Who, it's a time lord. Um, so we just had a nice little lunch down by a um, little crossing over the Serpentine River um, which is dry at this point up this end. But we were sat there, had lunch for half an hour or more, start hiking again about 50 metres up the track. Have to pull out the fly nets though that bad. Morning. I'm not Dirty lens. Dirty lens. Clean lens. Morning. Uh, morning of day nine. We got to do an entry last night. As we got into camp, it's all quite busy. Uh, with Bob, Simone, and Jenny. Tony, who was walking from Albany up to Kalamunda, so he's only got you know a week or so to go. Montessori School Group from Kingsley turned up and they're doing a bit of track maintenance around this area so thanks to them. A few of them were complaining a bit about the, <laughs> the distances they had to walk. A little bit cooler overnight. It was um, forecast to go down to about two degrees. Uh, we both got up in the middle of the night and just the clear, clear skies and the stars you could see were just absolutely amazing. It's well worth it. Mushroom yellow curry for dinner. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, about another 16 kilometers today. Uh, we've got two decent hills to climb though. Pushing the 500 meter mark again. Yeah, there's um, at Burang? Boon, Boonra, Boonarang? Boonarang. Boonarang. I should really look these things up before I start vlogging. We should be able to see where we've come from. The, those three mountains we walked through. Good day ahead. Oh, yesterday from Narang to I don't know where did we end up? Grinja. Yeah, yeah. Grinja. Yesterday Grinja. from Narang to Grinja or Gringer or Ginger. Heard a few people say there's sort of just flat and boring sort of trail, but um, I don't know. It was a great piece of bush to walk through. Loved it. 
no major events like mountain tops or big rivers to cross or anything but just plenty of time just to cruise and let your mind wander so, anyway onward with today should be good there we go that's where we're going be there soon right there So that's generally where we've come from, Mount Cuthbert and Mount Cook are all in there somewhere. So we've walked from beyond that horizon. It's amazing, definitely coming back here, I'd love to sit up there for about two hours or more. Just spend a whole afternoon up there or something and then hike back to the road, but we've got to keep pushing on to camp. Going down, we'll have to go up again. That's all right. Um, yeah, my, my pack is feeling very molded. First few days it gave me a couple of problems. I had some bruising and sort of hickeys on my hip. Clavicle eggs, how we had them too. You get these raised bits on your clavicle. They've gone, settled down. Body's used to it, knows what's happening. Anyway. Quarter. Oh. Yeah, walking along. Come across a lily. That's what happens. Walk along. Come across a little carnivorous plant. Every step has something. Spider's web. Can you see him? Open if you can. Oh, don't want to disturb it. Right, up ahead. There's Howie. Bob somewhere in front of us. Oh, not just one. Oh, grove of orchids. Really. This is special country. Nungabuja. We're very lucky. Very grateful. What's happening, Howie? Uh, boot cleaning to help with dieback. To help prevent dieback. Help. <laughs> Not help with dieback. Help prevent dieback. Yeah. Oh, great, aren't they? Ah, back onto a, one of these four wheel drive tracks. Um, quite like these because we, we can walk side by side on these. We don't have to do the single file thing. It's to feel like a bit of a march sometimes. A little bit of a breeze, mild. So maybe a bit. Of something. Hold on. Look at these ones. I've never seen that colour before. Yeah, that's new. That blue. Gorge. They shall call you butterfly pea. Don't, because butterfly pea is a weed. Maybe not. Yeah, okay, spiders. this is, uh, yeah, I thought we had to deal with flies and mozzies. Now we've found out about ticks. Oh, look at that. You've got a good reaction to these. Now look at the size of that. <laughs> it's a kangaroo tick. Um, Bob's pretty good at finding them. You want me to have a go at it? Or? Yeah, please. Yeah. Simone's got a, a freezing. Uh, oh, look at the size of it. Yeah. Should freeze it off, hopefully. Did that sting too much? Oh, no, yeah, no, it's it. fine. Look at it. Pardon? Pardon? Get closer. No, it says one centimetre because otherwise you'll actually you'll burn the skin. We may need some tweezers. We've got tweezers. 
I'll give him just one more because he's a big son of a gun. I'll update you later. Uh, anyway, Bob has uh, rid himself of his tick. Yeah, really had to get in there with the tweezers to get it out. <laughs> but yeah, that's the biggest one we've seen so far. Um, yeah, kangaroo tick. Biggest one we've seen on the body. Yeah. We've seen those things coming at us when we sat for lunch yesterday. Yeah. It was like a scene from Doctor Who. One of these crabby spider things coming at us, and we were just flicking them away. We didn't know what they were, but it was a bit weird the way they zoned in on us. Yeah. Now we know. <laughs> we were calling them um, spider crabs before, but now we know they're spider crab ticks. Bob and Jenny and Simone are having lunch there. We're going to push forward a little bit further um, just to get. Oh, kangaroo, uh, wallaby. Actually, you probably didn't see that. A bit slow. <laughs> They're a bit fast. No, very fast. Yeah, just chomped straight through. It's a very cute little panda like face. Uh, the northern. Not south. <laughs> southern wallaby? Southwestern wallaby? Maybe? I don't know. I shall call them panda wallaby. <laughs> oh, the monod knocks. Honestly gift that just keeps giving this place. Who would have thought all these times that we've driven up and down Albany Highway that there was this absolute treasure. Me home tonight. Well, a tent site nearby. Anyway, in a bit. Hey! Oh, my God. <laughs> Someone's going to capture me saying what a terrible day. <laughs> and then that's my own. 